Here we have Crab Bowl by The Source, and it's a fun little battery-operated crab in a bowl. So let's just get this set up. You get everything you see on the table included in the set, and this cute little crab I'm gonna call Krusty the Crab. So these little beads have become the kind of gems and sand of its home. This is a small battery powered rock. So it's a plastic formed rock. And inside there you need to fit two AA batteries and you actually need to fit them in parallel. So normally you get things in series. This is actually in parallel. So it's just a point to note and you'll need a Phillips, uh, a cross point screwdriver size one works perfectly. Okay. so. You recommended to use filtered, sterilised, boiled water. So I'm going to pour some in here. Let's just fill this pot up. Now the beads are all meant to sink, so if they don't, you need to tap them a little bit because it just means they've got some air bubbles, so they're not meant to be floating around there, and pretty much they're all settling down quite nicely. I've already fitted the batteries. I'm going to just turn this on, so there's an on-off button on the bottom. Now, it's already on now, and as you can hear, very, very quiet in operation, so let's just pop the little bowl on its rock. I'm gonna bring this a little bit more central so you can see this. And I'm gonna pop the crab in. Now the crab itself is really nicely detailed. It's got articulated legs. We'll zoom in and have a good look at him in a minute. Let's just drop Krusty in. Let's hope he doesn't flip over. And there's one thing I've just forgotten. I've also got to add to this water two drops of washing up liquid. So any washing up liquid will do. I've already measured two drops onto a tiny spoon here, which I'm gonna just quickly rinse around in the water. Now it's not meant to be enough to make the water bubble. That isn't really the idea. Sorry, Krusty, I just knocked you on the back. And in fact, whilst I'm in here with a spoon, I'm gonna knock the air bubbles off these last few bits. There we go. So you're not meant to be getting loads of bubbles in the water, and if you do, it's probably because you've got more than two drops, or like me, you've just been stirring it with a spoon. But as you can see, the Krusty Crab is already having a good little explore around in his bowl. Now, he will twitch and fidget and slowly twist and rotate and play generally, generally with his gems. Now, you can actually position the bowl in a few places on the rock, so if you're not quite happy with exactly the movement you're getting with him, you can actually move him slightly off centre. So let me just give you a few little examples. So you can have him just, let me get him to at least face the camera, let me just turn around and do this. Hold on, let me go, there's his eye stalks. When I say face the camera, I don't quite know what crustaceans, the front of a crustacean's called, but let's call it a face. So as you can see, he's having a good little rummage around, knocking and playing with his beads. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to zoom in so you can actually see him a little more closely. And a few other tricks that I've learned that you can play with the crab. Okay, there's Krusty the Crab crawling around his little bowl. And really all I'm going to just do is to quickly reposition the bowl a few more times. There's quite a few options on the rock where you can place him. So you can get him some places where all he does is he does a small little forward and backwards movement. And he's not quite so energetic. So I'm just going to try and find that sweet spot for you now. I think that's pretty much it. Now he's just facing the wrong way. So I very carefully, I didn't do this very good for you earlier. Turn Krusty around so he's actually facing us. So you might actually want some sort of more delicate movements and, and subtlety might be what you're after, as opposed to him racing around the place. So I'll put him right in the dead center. He's, he's charging another place. And actually I've had him almost turn himself over once. Now that's really hard to do. And what I actually had him on is the rear part of the rock here on the left, which is a little bit more precarious because of course it could tumble. Now there's nothing special about the bowl and the, the crab is the important thing and of course the base. So what you can do, a few little things you want to play tricksy, you could actually hide your rock. Let me just put a little box on it. It's not a perfectly sized rock, uh, sorry, box to cover the rock, but let's pretend it is. But as you can see, the magnetic power from the base, it's got a little spinning motor, is enough to run through a box. So you can make this far more clever and discreet than you want. If you don't like the rock, you can in effect eradicate that by a nice little cover. And likewise, if you don't like this particular bowl, you can use a glass dish or a plastic dish, anything that's see-through. This is actually something that had, I think, yogurt or something in. So I'm gonna just pour some more water in here. And I'm gonna pop this on top of my magnetic rock. I'm gonna fish out Krusty the Crab. I'm not gonna do his beads, but let's just pop, oops, I've got them upside down. Let's turn Krusty over. There he goes, and he's quite happily in that little jar doing his little jingle jangles. Now, of course, makes a different noise in there. It's not a particularly fantastic jar for him. It looks a bit crowded, but uh, 
you could also use a small glass so it really is up to you what you want to use you can find your own kind of receptacle and of course you could cover the rock with a nice box so you can make your own kind of sea house now this glass is a little bit narrow for him and his legs are displayed he doesn't get to move quite so well but there we go so he's a little twinkling around there in a little glass so of course the beads could be anything so you could introduce your own you know diamonds if you think crust is a, a good guardian of your valuables i think that big gem's a little bit too much for him so you could have anything in with Krusty the Crab and uh, you can of course have them in a glass, a plastic container, an old yoghurt pot or of course what comes with it. So I think great fun, great value for £9. Yes it doesn't come with batteries, that's the only negative but I think great little fun little, little friend to have on a windowsill or near a fish tank and uh, doesn't need to be fed anything other than a little bit of fun and entertainment. I hope you enjoyed this video, please feel free to like, subscribe and comment.